Leo, guess what? This one's for you. <laughs> All right. This is Tara Illumination with your September 2017 Love and Relationship Report for you, Leo. Of course, you, Leo, have been the center of attention for a little while now with all this eclipse energy going on. So I hope you're enjoying it and making the best of it. <laughs> I'm not going to comment too much more. There's, you're probably on overload already just dealing with the eclipses yourself, let alone tarot readings and the rest of astrology and the rest of life in the world. So let's have a look. Cards were already pre-shuffled. And we're just going to the last minute while I'm uh, introducing the video. Uh, we're not doing any flyers, jumpers, oracles, no reversals, nothing. Uh, I invite you to watch for your sun and moon and rising and then squish it all together and make something, make your own story out of it. Well, Terra Illumination is doing these readings for you, but you can reinterpret however you want, okay? There's a lot of you folks out there and you're all unique in your own ways, okay? So, Leo, uh, although we're coming into September now, uh, that um, the actual Leo Eclipse energy is still very strong now. In fact, it's really picking up energy more than ever before because the everything is crested and now the wave of the energy is moving forward and we're all on that same bus. I hope you watched all those Leo North Node uh, videos and the North Node in Leo video playlists because they might help you right now okay but this is just a little monthly love and relationship for september cards are shuffled we're going to cut and then we're going to read all right let's see what happens here's your energy okay or let's just say it's you if you want okay and there's a significant other a chosen one somebody very special somebody in your life okay this is going deeper inside of you, okay? This is going deeper inside the other. And this is the core of the relationship itself. So can you see here this bowl? This bowl is a crucible. And I like to read with the crucible uh, spread because it's the whole idea is that in a healthy relationship, the two parties conduct themselves through the relationship as opposed to one-on-one -on -one direct. And... A really healthy relationship has a really strong structure to it where both loving parties understand and value the relationship itself and they invest in the relationship on the understanding that this is what helps them to grow and evolve and love each other even better because they've formalized a safe spot, a safe space where they can intimate and separate and intimate and separate and endure all of the pressures and the alchemical uh, things that go on inside of a relationship, intense dynamics go on inside of a relationship. And if the structure and the foundation is uh, unstable, then it can make it harder to have a healthy, happy relationship. We're also going to look at the weather in a moment. That would be this card under here. The weather just like permeates the, the reading itself right now. And it's, you know, it's weather. It passes, it comes, it goes. You're not going to let yourself be owned by the weather. Let's just say it's there and you make the best of it, okay? Whatever it is. If you're happy and it's awful weather, great. If you're happy and it's great weather, great. If it's great weather and you're miserable, um, tap into the joy of the good energy. If it's awful weather and you're feeling awful, remember that it too shall pass, all right? You don't have to let the weather own you. Although it can impact you, of course but you create your own happiness from the inside out. Okay, Leo, you, you should know that. All right, so what do we got? Look, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't think of a more appropriate card. This is like, like a whole new start, a whole new life, a whole new world beginning and unfolding for you. And it might feel as though you're going completely blind out into the wilderness, like on a great new adventure where there is absolutely nothing else you can do except to tr trust in the great unknown, trust in the will of heaven and allow yourself to be guided and protected, surrender and embrace the whole experience. Okay. Cause it's really like you don't have a choice. So this is pretty awesome. And you're getting a green light from the angels to sit, to basically go for it, Leo, go for it and set an example for the rest of us. Okay. Wow. That's one heck of a start to the reading. Let's have a look. What, what about you personally? Let's have a look. 
Okay, so it means profound transformation. Yes, it does. There's no going back. Okay, Leo, you have to understand with the eclipse energies being so powerful and so important in life, especially with this eclipse this year, biggest since, uh, since uh, 1776 in the United States, the way it passed over the states. And I don't think it's any coincidence right now that Pluto is in Capricorn like it was uh, at 1776 at a very pivotal moment near when Saturn comes into Capricorn uh, in January 2020. So there's a little bit of tidbit of information for you because there's a lot of global transformation going on right now. And you, Leo, might be a prime like example of what's actually happening. With you, Leo, it's like the end of, it's just the cutting away of anything and everything that was redundant, obsolete, and no longer healthy or serving you in this lifetime right now. And the shedding process can feel a little bit traumatic because for many, many times, especially if we've been holding on to certain ways of living and being for long periods of time, we feel that that becomes our identity. And then to have all this stuff stripped away, like if you don't willingly and calmly and gently surrender and let it be released, then it gets ripped away from you. And so the process of evolution can feel a little bit uh, shaky, unnerving at times as you go through the transformation. It's like a, like a you know going from a caterpillar through to a butterfly into a chrysalis, you know. And I don't really know what happens when you're a chrysalis, but it must be a really profound experience to be inside that little bulb and to turn yourself into a, from a caterpillar into a butterfly. It's quite something, but that's essentially what's happening with you in your life, Leo. And you're going to come out the other side just fine, but you're right in the thick of it right now. It's so you are the caterpillar, but you have now moved into the chrysalis phase. And you are transforming from the inside out, okay? And it just happens to be happening in the context of love and relationship, especially since your whole identity is at stake here. Uh, with Leo, if you're watching Sun, Moon, and Rising, if this is for your son, then this would be in your first house, like your whole sense of personality, sense and identity. And it's all changing. It's all transforming. You're becoming Leo Mark II, like never before. Okay? So let's have a look at this other. Whoa. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say, Leo. Look at this for the start of the reading. Look at this from here, and this is permeating the whole thing. So you may be relating with someone, Leo, who is on their own uh, journey themselves, but it's a quite different journey. And maybe you are sharing a journey with a significant other in a significant relationship that does have a, a foundational structure to it, which is a chosen structure. I don't know that for sure, it's your life, but it looks like you're relating to someone who is absolutely determined to get their life together too and succeed and take charge and uh, make it happen. And it can be a challenge sometimes because it means having to take the whole of oneself, all of one's complete raw animal nature and all of one's most highly evolved spiritual natures and combine them into one thing where you, where the significant other here now has full ownership of themselves as a complete person where they they are corralling they like you know how you corral energy uh, you rounding you're rounding up all your energy and putting it together uh, as you set out on a whole new life journey so to speak so in some, some ways you're both going through these you know really big changes and it could be in such a way that your own deep profound inner transformations are uh, having a profound effect on their life journey that is about to unfold, okay? Because they're, they're totally fully intent on living out their path, their life. Now, um, this looks like two very, very independent energies here that are happening in the context, in the safe place, in the crucible of the relationship. But we're going to find out a little bit more as we go through. Also, uh, because of the Fool card prevailing here, it might be an indication to both parties that uh, there is, this is a no-holds-barred situation where anything goes, anything can happen, and it might be actually um, wise to not set any goals or expectations or 
uh, assumptions on from yourself onto the significant other or allow the significant other to impose themselves upon you in any way because you both got your own stuff to deal with and they are probably profoundly different even though you might be sharing this with each other let's have a look deeper inside of you okay oh by the deeper inside of you leo okay hold on i just remembered something i'll have to come back to it in a minute oh yeah that's what it was uh a lot of people have been asking about what about readings for singles well you can see here that this is primarily based for people in a relationship this is a love and relationship reading now we might do a special playlist for singles down the road but we're not there yet if you are a single leo and you want to consider this for a singles reading you can treat this energy as a completely separate energy that is not in relationship with you but you might be attracting this energy simply because you're always radiating the energy of relationship anyway and even though this energy of this person might not be in your life at this moment okay this could be the ingredients of reflection that's coming back to you as if you were in relationship okay so i hope that helps a little bit for singles all right let's have a look inside of you way deep inside leo okay so I feel this card is very much in uh, uh, in resonance with you, where deep inside you know that this is happening. You've probably known for you know at least the last six, nine months or year or so that this is happening, especially in the last two or three months as the eclipse energy was building. You've probably been deeply aware that like it or not, you've been heading towards this massive transformational phase that's happening in your life where you, the identity, the personality, the people that, the, the person that other people see is going through profound transformation. And deep down, I think, and it feels like uh, you're aware of it to the point where it's almost like, oh, I've been waiting this for, a long, for this for a long time and it's about time it happened. And yeah, the transformation process might be a struggle because you might be either forced or, uh, impelled or compelled to leave a lot of stuff behind that was not appropriate and leaving behind that could be anything like uh, you know just the way you present yourself to the world or the way you conducted yourself in significant relationships you might have been like just all out there for everybody you know with aquarius south node energy over there in the seventh house of relationship you might have been all over the place being the one most wonderful spectacular leo for everybody else but depleting yourself in the process and now it's time to come back and reclaim your light for yourself and it might feel a little weird but maybe you're also feeling like you know it's there you see the little sun right there that's yours and you own that but you have to go through the transformation to get there there is a journey behind this um, uh, religious figure here and all these other people um, have basically already endured their <clears throat> transformational <clears throat> separation and cutting away and they're moving on and they will you know what do they call it die before you die you you accept the transformation you willingly let it go and now you are starting to let's say claim your own light again deep down uh, this is your feeling i feel that this is you really feeling it inside like it's about time i get the chance to be the new leo I don't know who that's going to be or what I'm going to look like now. I'm still in the transformational phase in the, inside the chrysalis, and I'm changing, and I'm going to continue to change. And out the other side, I'm going to turn into this butterfly. Whether you're male or female, young or older, uh, beautiful or not, um, you're still going to be beautiful as you come out of this. Butterflies are just beautiful by nature, male and female, okay? So with this energy, the Queen of Ons energy, this is uh, a person who loves being out there, who loves radiating their life light, who loves being out there with their people, uh, but <clears throat> maintaining their dominion of themselves, maintaining integrity and the sovereignty of themselves. They're not giving it away to everybody else. You know that kind of energy when movie stars and pop stars, they get so transfixed by the lights and their own stardom that they lose a sense of identity. And then they dissolve and they become like uh, 
almost like sad creatures. Well, that doesn't have to happen to you. In this new transformational experience that's happening with you, uh, Leo, in the context of the relationship, you're discovering that you can uh, be a classic Leo, but also you don't have to give it all away. You can own that and retain sovereignty of self, where you have a strong new self, self new sense of identity, a new sense of self that's going to come out soon. It's not there. It's not yet. You're, it, you're going through the chrysalis phase now, and it's going to happen uh, coming out over the next year or so, through, starting here in September, October, and November especially. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. All these major arcanas. Okay, so Leo, in the context of a relationship with this significant other, they are probably going through their own massive changes themselves, but it's in a very different way to you. And it's happening in the context of relationship. And it probably in the context of relationship, they might feel a little bit restricted. Okay, because if you're starting to grow and transform and turn into your own light, where you are going to start radiating much more and more like a beacon, they even they might feel threatened in such a way that uh, they are being forced to really, really uh, take charge and full ownership of their own lives as, as they go through their own uh, transformational and growth processes too, because everybody is going through this eclipse phase just like you, but it's different for everybody. This is your experience we talked about here, and this is their experience as we talked about here, and it's occurring in the context of love and relationship. So for this significant other, the relationship itself, even just as much as you, Leo, may be having a profound impact on this significant other over here in such a way that they are either in, inspired and driven to totally take charge of their life now and make something much newer and better out of it, or they're being pressured into it. Either way, it's happening. And <clears throat> in so doing, <clears throat> what they might feel deep down inside is that with this energy of... I'm going to look at it for two ways, okay? Uh, Leo, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to indulge the other person a little bit here. They may be going through a deep down like feeling or a realization that from their perspective, they might feel as they're in they're in kind of a codependent relationship where, where instead of having what would be called a traditional healthy crucible type foundation, where both parties cherish and love each other enough to be willing to commit and invest in each other and create that structure. Some people would call it in the old fashioned sense, it would be called a marriage or a marriage type structure where it's deliberate and it's chosen you and you you create vows which is like creating the code of conduct in the in the marriage in the structure of the relationship however a lot of relationships even formalized relationships do not honor the relationship itself they still relate one to one like this instead of through the relationship itself and so what might be happening to your significant other dear leo is that from their perspective, they might feel as though they're relating this way. They might not have any semblance or awareness of the structure of the relationship itself or any kind of honor or respect for the relationship itself. And instead, they've been conducting themselves with you and inversely you with them in such a way that it translates into um, codependency, which is an unhealthy type of relating where instead of you have two distinct individuals who are who are already fully loving the, the, the themselves and each other and uh, are happy internally uh, we end up in a situation where the other party their happiness and well-being is completely dependent on you in other words without the relationship they might be deeply struggling and they might only be realizing right now that their internal dynamics are very, very different from what they thought they were in with what would have or could have been a healthy relationship. So, Leo, this can affect you, where you in turn might be realizing that, oh, uh, I thought we had a relationship. I, Leo, thought we had one of these, a healthy relationship 
with a crucible and a structure <clears throat> that was able to withstand intense pressures of intimacy and separation, intimacy and separation for the long term, that would, uh, where we invest and we appreciate each other through the relationship, only to discover in this <clears throat> new life unfolding that it's more of a codependent relationship, not by your choice or by volition, just simply by exposure. And they are feeling it inside. And that could be frightening for them because they might be frightened that as you evolve and grow into and turn into your most almighty, awesome self, they're going to be left behind because they have are inadvertently attached their own evolution and happiness to you as opposed to claiming and owning their own life and their own happiness themselves. And that's a problem. That's a problem, Leo, because that means they have a problem inside themselves, but that problem now affects you because you would be impacted by that part of themselves, which is linked to you in a codependent type relationship. Okay. <clears throat> so that's my feeling on it right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there is another perspective I want to offer here, just a little tiny one, in that with the significant other here, <clears throat> there may be a lot of like, like attachment in terms of passion, <clears throat> excuse me, pardon, in terms of passion, which is difficult, where it's difficult to disconnect it. Like if you had a very passionate relationship. Or if you have one, and then this sense of evolution is triggering them to go off on their path while you transform into your new path, then that could trigger a sense of separation in terms of like the physical intimacy and things like that, to the point where that can be frightening for the other person. And they realize that they love that and they want that, and that's an intrinsic part of the relationship. In other words, it's form of it's it's, it's a form of, of being like being a love addict or um a romance addict or something like that, where uh, they they thrive and live off the drama, and that cannot be that might not be self serving in the long term because even though that might feel like it's exciting and fun and romantic, a really good healthy relationship can feel, look and appear very very um, almost innocuous and invisible to other people because people who really love each other can often just keep that for themselves and they don't feel obliged to live through this dramatic type of experience and so they might be kind of like like a, like a love addict or they might be wishing to indulge in a lot more of a passionate relationship uh, but it's not happening <clears throat> and that would also be a problem uh, let's have a look I don't want to uh, get too dark on any of this. I, I think there's a lot of really good stuff happening for you, Leo, here, but it's quite profoundly different from the other party. They're having their own very different uh, experience inside the context of the relationship. Let's have a look here. Okay, so with the Nine of Pentacles here, my feeling is that the relationship itself has a degree of stability and independence and structure of its own that is at least for the time being has enough integrity for both parties to continue and be who they are living their experience in the context of the relationship okay that's good knowing that you've got all the resources there because if, if you have even if there is an ingredient of codependency or addictions or any kind of uh, unhealthy behaviors and aspects of the relationship that are sort of contaminating the relationship it's not going to kill the relationship. It's just there. And you might have enough light and love and radiance to understand that, Leo, and be forgiving and generous and be willing to go and dive into the context of the relationship itself, knowing that you are safe, independent, and protected in order to be there for your mate, so to speak. Because it looks like they very much want to be here in the relationship, but the relationship is exposing a lot of internal dynamics for both of you uh, that might have been like dormant or uh, invisible before uh, September. Okay, also with the, uh, with the Nine of Pentacles here, since I just have to call this out because this is your reading, Leo, 
for your love and relationship situation from Tarot Illumination, and it is not a couple's reading, okay? Uh, we're reading just for you, Leo, so you can sort of put this energy over here. Treat this as just your reading for you about your perspective of the relationship. If it was a couple's reading, it would be we'd be reading it quite differently. So you might be feeling that this relationship is I'm just going to call it out very quickly and then get it over with. It might make you feel like there's a yearning for you to be independent. I'm not saying to break it up, but you might want to create more of a sense of independence between yourself and another in the context of the relationship. So it isn't all mushed and blurry by codependency, where like once there's an intimacy achieved, sometimes the other uh, party doesn't want to let go and that becomes a problem because in nature in life we have to be able to intimate and separate and intimate and separate on a very regular continuous basis without being freaked out without thinking like oh my god i've lost them forever oh oh are they ever coming back and then oh thank gosh thank gosh for that and then because of the fear and the of sense of loss or potential loss the others want to hold on and then that's when you get codependency and it's not helping you, but you might understand that you're not going to let that own you. And so you might be willing, dear Leo, as part of your transformation, to hold strong and be inspirational and a light for a significant other as they go through their own profound transformations. All right. You know, so in other words, the relationship itself looks like it's stable and it's independent and it has a structure of its own, which so far is holding up its integrity, at least enough for now. Okay. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I want to go back to the Fool card here because of the weather at the beginning. I want to, there are so, look at, there's one, two, three, four majors here. So all I can say is that when you have that many uh, major arcana cards in a little spread like this, this is an indication that you might feel as though you've walked into a, a magic kind of very strange, bizarre fairground where uh, you, like you step on one ride and you can't get off and all of a sudden that ride spits you out and puts you on another ride and things get a little bit weird and wobbly as you live through it. That's what I'm feeling here a little bit where like with this fool energy it's it's you are having permission to go on this magical journey here which could be with all this transformation here that's happening with you Leo uh, it could feel like a pretty wild ride as you go through September and all this stuff gets exposed from the other half and Understanding that deep down you've got the stability the relationship has stability But it can still be a very disorienting journey in some ways because of the transformation that's happening luckily you've got this like raw core identity at the core of yourself like raw Sun energy, you know where it's like Deep down, you know you can't go wrong, you won't go wrong, no matter how challenging it gets. And it could be quite challenging at times, especially with this energy here from the other party, from another party. Let's have a look where the momentum is. Okay, so that makes sense. You know, with the two of pentacles here, it can indicate that the relationship has a certain, you know, bedrock stability to it that is just, it's good. You know, there's certain ingredients that are unshakable so that's that's healthy that's good it's un, that's very good for the whole relationship it's good for the whole journey it's good for all of this It's an indication that you know you're what you're walking on solid ground so to speak for the relationship itself however in the context of the relationship with such profound energies happening between the two parties especially over here where it's really really maybe stretching the limits of the relationship stretching the limits of you Leo to be able to tolerate the pressures inside the crucible so to speak where there's a lot of this intimacy and then a lot of separation intimacy and separation where you come to learn to understand the dynamics of what's going on between you and another in which case the relationship might feel a little bit wobbly okay you see over here with all this ocean and water and ships bouncing up and down that could feel what would be called like you know, like, like turbulence. And so the relationship itself might feel as though it's a real balancing act. Like, whoa, like it's like, it's like 
whoa, I'm going through my transformational stuff and I'm leaving a lot of stuff behind. And oh, you're triggering me to have to like recompletely format my life again and start from scratch and really get my stuff together in ways that I've never had before because I'm realizing that I've got some issues, codependency, um, serious codependency issues. Like I'm like, I don't know what I would do without you. I'm terrified without you, that kind of energy stuff. And then you have to counter that with, well, listen, come on, we can do this. We can handle this. We have certain ingredients in our relationship that makes us strong. We've got each other. Yeah, but you're going through so much change. How are you going to still love me? Well, I'm going through so much change. Are you still going to love me? You know, it's that kind of thing that's going on. And it's a balancing act. So if you understand and accept that both of you are going through a lot of profound changes and you accept that and allow that you have a degree of stability in the relationship which allows you to function and be your own independent selves inside the safety and context of the relationship then it's not so bad and you can actually go through the process of balancing okay it's totally doable okay Leo it is totally doable you're actually in a pretty good spot frankly especially because with the full card here you're being granted full permission to just go for it just figure it out um, in the safety in the context of a relationship no matter how weird and scary uh, it, 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 ha it, it feels like as you go through it okay I hope that makes sense okay Leo thank you for visiting watch for your sun moon and rising okay bye bye have a good September